Today, we will learn the biggest three tsunami ever. We will begin with what tsunami is, and I am gonna give you three biggest tsunami. Let's begin. A tsunami is a series of ocean waves with very long wavelengths, typically several hundred kilometers, caused by large-scale disturbances of the ocean, such as earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, or landslides. These waves can travel across entire ocean basins, reaching speeds of up to 800 kilometers per hour and heights of up to 30 meters. Tsunamis can cause significant damage and loss of life when they strike populated areas. The massive amount of water they carry can flood coastal areas, destroy buildings, and sweep people and vehicles away. Tsunamis can also damage coastal infrastructure, including ports, harbors, and power plants, and cause long-term economic and environmental effects. Tsunamis are usually detected using specialized sensors called tsunami warning systems, which measure changes in sea level and other oceanic variables. The biggest tsunami ever is the Sumatra, Indonesia tsunami of 2004. It was one of the deadliest natural disasters in modern history, causing widespread destruction and claiming hundreds of thousands of lives across multiple countries in South and Southeast Asia. In this video, we will explore the causes and impacts of this catastrophic event. What was the reason of this enormous tsunami? The Sumatra, Indonesia tsunami was triggered by a massive undersea earthquake that struck off the coast of Sumatra on December 26, 2004. The earthquake was estimated to have a magnitude of 9.1 on the Richter scale, making it one of the strongest earthquakes ever recorded. The earthquake was caused by the movement of tectonic plates along the boundary between the Indian and Australian plates and the Eurasian plate. The plates had been locked together for hundreds of years, and when the pressure between them was released, it caused the massive earthquake. The tsunami caused by the Sumatra earthquake affected multiple countries in South and Southeast Asia, including Indonesia, Sri Lanka, India, Thailand, and the Maldives. It is estimated that over 230,000 people lost their lives, and millions were affected by the disaster. In Indonesia, the hardest-hit country, over 120,000 people lost their lives, and entire villages were wiped out by the massive waves. The tsunami caused extensive damage to infrastructure, including homes, businesses, and hospitals, and disrupted transportation and communication networks. The impact of the tsunami was particularly severe in the province of Assei, where the city of Banda Assei was located. The city was devastated by the tsunami, with many buildings destroyed and thousands of people displaced. In the aftermath of the tsunami, governments and international organizations launched a massive relief effort to provide aid to the affected communities. Emergency supplies were delivered to the affected areas. Long-term recovery efforts focused on rebuilding infrastructure and housing, restoring communication and transportation networks, and supporting local economies. Many organizations and individuals around the world donated money and resources to support the recovery efforts, which took years to complete. Lessons learned The Sumatra, Indonesia tsunami of 2004 was a tragic event that highlighted the importance of disaster preparedness and response. Since then, governments and organizations around the world have worked to improve warning systems and disaster response plans to better protect communities from the impact of natural disasters. In Indonesia, for example, the government has implemented a tsunami warning system and has worked to improve disaster preparedness and response at the local level. Other countries have also implemented similar systems and improved their disaster response plans to better protect their citizens from the impact of tsunamis and other natural disasters. The second biggest tsunami, the March 11, 2011 tsunami in Japan, was a catastrophic event that resulted in massive destruction and loss of life. In this blog post, we will examine the causes and impacts of this devastating event. Why this happened? The tsunami was triggered by a 9.0 magnitude earthquake that struck off the coast of Japan on March 11, 2011. The earthquake was the most powerful ever recorded in Japan and was caused by the movement of tectonic plates along the Japan Trench, where the Pacific Plate subducts beneath the North American Plate. 
The earthquake caused significant shaking and ground deformation, which triggered a massive tsunami that swept across the coast of Japan. The tsunami waves reached up to 40 meters in height and traveled inland for several kilometers, causing widespread destruction and flooding. The tsunami caused widespread destruction along the coast of Japan, the disaster claimed over 15,000 lives, and many more were injured or reported missing. The impact of the tsunami was particularly severe in the Fukushima prefecture, where the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant was located. The tsunami caused extensive damage to the plant, which led to a meltdown of three of its reactors and a significant release of radioactive material into the surrounding environment. The disaster disrupted transportation and communication networks, and many people were left without access to essential services such as food, water, and medical care. The economic impact of the disaster was also significant, with the estimated cost of damage and losses reaching over $200 billion. The March 11, 2011 tsunami in Japan highlighted the importance of disaster preparedness and response. Since the disaster, the Japanese government has implemented various measures to improve its warning systems, disaster response plans, and infrastructure to better protect communities from the impact of natural disasters. After this horrible occasion, they are ready for another. Let's continue with third biggest tsunami, the Latuya Bay tsunami was a rare and catastrophic event that occurred in Alaska on July 9, 1958. The Latuya Bay tsunami was triggered by a massive landslide that occurred at the head of the bay. The landslide was caused by a combination of factors, including melting permafrost, heavy rain, and steep mountain slopes. The landslide sent an estimated 40 million cubic meters of rock and ice into the bay, generating a wave that was over 500 meters tall. What were the results of this tsunami? The tsunami caused massive destruction along the coast of Latuya Bay. The wave swept over the surrounding mountains and trees, leaving behind a bare and rocky landscape. The wave also destroyed two boats and claimed the lives of five people who were camping on the shore. However, the impact of the tsunami was limited to the immediate vicinity of the bay due to its remote location and the small size of the surrounding communities. Due to the remote location of the tsunami and the limited impact on nearby communities, the response to the disaster was limited. Local authorities assessed the damage and provided support to the affected families. The Latuya Bay tsunami was a unique event that highlighted the importance of understanding the risks associated with natural disasters. The landslide that triggered the tsunami was caused by a combination of factors that were difficult to predict, and there was little that could have been done to prevent the disaster from occurring. However, the disaster did lead to improvements in our understanding of landslide-generated tsunamis and their potential impacts. Scientists have since studied the Latuya Bay tsunami and used the data to develop better models for predicting and preparing for similar events. Thanks for watching. See later on another videos.